<laughs> Hi! <laughs> Welcome, this is Sayaka Higuchi and Yasha Engel. Hello! We are very happy to see you here at our channel. If you didn't do it yet, subscribe to our channel. Right now you get new videos every week. Stay tuned and we are looking forward to start our video now. So, today we will talk about the most important things in alignment, in the most common mistakes and how to fix them. All right, let's right get into it. We all have our human bodies and we all need to understand in how to build them up. So let's see our beautiful Sayaka here. Hi. She has something that we call a lower center, which is from the pelvis, pelvis downwards. And she has something that we call the upper center, which is from the lower ribs upwards. Yes, with the arms and shoulder and everything integrated. Everyone has that. Not Everyone only, has that. Not only me. <laughs> so we have the lower center and the upper center. And we have something right in between. And that is what we call the center center. The center center or something that connects this upper part and the lower part. And in our definition, to create a nice posture, we need to work with the center center so that we can address the lower and upper center in a good way. So let's feel this in our own bodies. How is your posture? Get up, find a wall and do the following with me. Yes? I will do it from the side. Imagine a wall being behind me. It's only for you to understand what's happening in the, in the back. Okay. Did you find your wall? Let's try and go all the way with the feet, with the heels against the wall and try to just lean against the wall. Now feel where do you touch the wall. I touch with my butt, with my gluteus. And I feel with the upper back, I have some contact and maybe with the head too, when I lean against it. Now, this gives you an idea of the natural curve of the spine. So in the lower back area, you have this curve or in Sayaka's side, you have this curve here. Yeah, you see that. Now, what we will do is not to make the spine all the way straight, but activate our core muscles in the center center to get the spine longer and have the curve less strong. Remember, everyone has different postures, so you might feel a lot of space here in this part and leaning against the wall more in your upper back. Or, on um, con contrary, you might feel that the lower back is very, very connected to the wall, but the shoulders are away. So this is all natural, don't worry. We just want to find a healthy way to stand up. Okay, let's build our bodies. Let's build a good posture. So, the way you touch the wall, the wall, you have it. And we put our feet just a tiny little bit away, maybe five centimeters to the front. Yes, this will help your alignment a little bit, just for now. And now, try to bring your belly button inside towards your spine and let your spine react so that your spine connects to the wall. Yes, this might be an activation in your lower abs and your pelvis tilts a little bit. This is okay just for now. Okay, and now try to close your ribs together so that you really, the whole part of your lower spine is connected. Maybe your head is not against the wall anymore. Now we activate the center and we keep it there and we try to also connect our upper spine a little bit and the head. Do you feel the activity? Do you feel it working? Yes. Even in your legs? Okay, so this is the activation that we want you to keep. And now, go away from the wall, try to activate in the same way. And you will feel that you, you did from this relaxed posture and the spine being in the double S curve. Now you straighten it with your core muscles and you get a long posture. This is the idea of a dancer's body and a healthy body. 
It's not the straight spine all the way, but it's the ability to bring it more in alignment with gravity. And maybe you could feel it already. So we have the general alignment right now. Let's see a little bit more about the lower center of the body and how to position it. So therefore we do a very funny thing. Feel like no one would watch you. You will lean forward and pull your butt out. You can bend your knees a little bit, try to be like a more or less straight back and use the middle fingers and try to find your sit bones. Do you know where they are? This is where you sit on. <laughs> try to find them with your fingers. Move the flesh away and find them. Sorry yeah. for this posture, but yeah. you are at home, we are at home. <laughs> <laughs> so, found them? These okay. are the sit bones. I have them. I have Very my fingers good. connected. From here. Try to always keep the contact from the finger to the sit bone and we get up like the upper body is going straight, straight, straight. And we feel, I cannot touch mine anymore. <laughs> they, disappear. they disappear. Mine are gone. Uh. Yeah. So when they're gone, this is the moment actually when the alignment, the sit bones kind of point into your, into your legs. And this is the alignment that we are looking for in this part of the body, in the lower center. Yes, when we are like this, especially in the high heels, the high heels push our, our sit bones to the back. So when I'm like this, I'm not active. So I try to let the sit bones sink into the legs. And there we have a beautiful alignment of this lower center. You can do it again whenever you want. Try to move forward, touch them, and then stand up. And when they disappear, you can feel the miracle and just pay attention to how your body feels in this moment. Because there you are aligned with gravity. That's the lower center. Let's go to the upper center. All right. You learned something about the lower center and the alignment and you learned something about activation of your center center. And now we want to look what the upper center is doing. So for that I brought some weight here, two kilos, I don't know, you can take anything. You can take a pot, you can take a plant, you can take something with a little bit of weight. And just to feel something. What we will do, I show it to you from the side. We will go down in our knees a little bit, just to engage our thighs and our legs, that it holds the lower center. And now we will try to lift this weight like this, yeah, just in front of us. And we feel that this is heavy. It's not so easy to hold it there. So what we will do is we put our lower center underneath it, here and we lift our arms up. You engage your center center, you engage your lower center and you have the upper center underneath this weight. Yes? Good. So now your upper center is connected to this weight. And now when we go down with the weight, we feel that our upper spine is articulating. We go up and down and up and down and up and down again and stand up good this is already quite a workout when you stay in a squatted position but we want you to feel really that the movement of the arms is connected with the movement of the spine so your upper center needs to work upwards while your lower center needs to work below, downwards. And this is the alignment that we have. Like this we can lift very heavy weights. Yes? We can go and lift something like this. It's easy. If we lift something like this, maybe you've heard it from anyone, it's not good for your spine. So, check this out. So, well done, you have learned something about the centers and how they are organized in the body. We are very happy to have seen you here. If you want to see more, 
click and subscribe to our channel for upcoming videos and we let you know that this video was part of something that we call the CCC or 3C principle and this principle we have been working on for a while go check it out you can subscribe right here and get it in a four video course for free thanks for watching bye, bye.